What is going on guys and gals? It is me, JT, and we are back with another 10 days of Pokemon video. Today we are actually going to have it set to 4 days because I miscounted in the application I was using to start the countdown didn't work. So it said that we had like 3 more days but in reality we have 4 more days to go until Pokemon Sword and Shield's release. And it's been a little bit of a hectic morning for a lot of us but Pokemon Sword and Shield has officially had its street date broken again now if you guys and gals did not know this has been a thing that's been going on for a long time with a bunch of games and i believe the same person that got the street date broken mario odyssey game was able to get their hands on the pokemon sword and shield game because there is a twitter page called central pokemon that shows a clear cut two games shown right there in front of a switch box and guess where it was it was mexico mexico always gets these games early and somehow it's always mexico that gets these games leaked all right we've been seeing a lot of games from mexico get leaked and pokemon sword and shield has been the first game to be leaked there um if you guys and guys didn't know as well a bunch of download links to the pokemon iso which allows you to hack it and put it on your nintendo switch and play it which is piracy which i'm not promoting i'm just saying that people have been downloading these links and illegally doing it i actually ran into the same person or the same problem last night when a bunch of the people that i knew had said they were already getting files for it it's been absolutely insane me personally i don't have a reason to get it early um i already have the game pre-installed but it's just insane to see how fast this game is spreading and then i wanted to show you guys and gals this this twitter user who also is at central pokemon is showing proof that they have these games this is not a hoax this is not in any way a fake leak or a, just a joke or a gag this person's actually holding the pokemon sword and shield case he's showing it right here in this video that it's them um so shout outs to them for getting the game early but if they're leaking the game out like that it's sort of bad so i hope that these people don't get into too much trouble because i know the ninjas are out and about looking for people to strike and slay down but yeah it's actually a big problem nintendo is looking to take down these links they've already started doing a bunch of that and people just keep downloading and downloading and maybe it's gonna be like sword and shield or, or with sun and moon where um people were getting banned day one for downloading the game illegally and playing the game before it was supposed to be out but what do you guys and gals think about this all right do you guys and gals think it's insane do you think that it's normal for this to happen do you guys happen to have a copy of your own have your store started producing them let me know down in the comments below hope you guys and gals enjoyed this short video we are going to be talking about a lot more things in the next upcoming days for this pokemon countdown but yeah thank you guys and gals for watching and peace out